just as I was approaching the main restaurant itself, two of the security guards came to me and pulled me by my left shoulder, like almost like, you know when you're getting kicked out and they're pulling you away. It was becoming very embarrassing and, you know, frankly, very humiliating. So I asked the man, oh God, what do you mean no women allowed? I've been here many times. And he's like, well, they've changed the policy. So there's a new policy now and women are not allowed to enter. On 8th of November, it was a Sunday, I was supposed to meet with one of my old friends from college in Ikeja Jerry. It's an Indian restaurant called Hazoika. And the plan was just really to just go and have food and catch up. I'd been to the restaurant multiple times, so I knew that their food was really great. Like, I'd basically just hyped the restaurant to her, like, it's really good, let's go and get something to eat. Anyway, I got there around, it was almost 4, 4 p.m., let's say 3.55, just a few minutes short of 4. She was on her way to meet me. And just as I was approaching the main restaurant itself, two of the security guards came to me and pulled me by my left shoulder, like, and decided to pull me backward, you know, as if to say, don't enter. And I was like, okay, what's happening here? So I, my immediate assumption was maybe the restaurant was too full and then they needed to get a lot of people out. But the guy was like, oh, no women allowed. So I was kind of, I was confused at first because I'd been there many times and that was the first time I was hearing no women allowed, kind of. It was very surprising. So I asked the man, oh God, what do you mean no women allowed? I've been here many times. And he's like, well, they've changed the policy. So there's a new policy now and women are not allowed to enter. I was still surprised because like I said, I'd been there before so many times that if there was such a policy, I feel like I would have known. So I told him that, okay, I want to see the manager because the manager is someone that I know. I'm sure he knows me as well. Um, and he was just trying to explain that the only way that I would be able to literally go in is if the person I'm coming with is a man or if I go out and find a man to accompany me in. And that was when I got really angry, like, so how can I go out and be looking for a man to accompany me in just because I want to eat, like, it's not that deep. And because of the way the security guard and another man who had come at this point were pulling me backwards, almost like, you know, when you're getting kicked out and they are pulling you away. So it was becoming very embarrassing and you know frankly very humiliating so i just decided that i was going to leave and call my friend to say let's meet somewhere else when i was talking to her about it much later she said you have to report them i was like okay but in my head it was just reporting them and maybe just tweeting so people will know about the restaurant um after my tweet went viral the fccpc that's the federal competition and consumer protection commission reached out to me and asked me to make a complaint on their app and then they got in touch with me they did the investigation. They actually went to the restaurant um, where one of their investigators, the team leader, found out that they actually reversed the policy because she was able to order a meal. And just based on the conversation I had with the agency, I was told that um, the fact that I escalated it and it was trending and people started putting pressure on the restaurant. So I guess what they really ruled was that their security operators or security guards needed sensitivity training in terms of handling customers in a very friendly manner, not like how they were pulling me away and things like that. I think it's a general thing that borders on the discrimination of women. After what happened to me at the restaurant in Jerry, I don't think I'm going to go back. There's, there's nothing that would literally take me back there because it was a humiliating experience. It was unnecessary. Um, I don't want to be subjected to that again. They said they've changed their policy, but my experience is my experience. I'm definitely not going back there.